Hey, I'm Dan with the customer education team here at Duda, and in this video, we're reviewing product updates from the first quarter of 2021. This quarter, we'll be joined by experts from across the Duda team to review updates related to design flexibility, the App Store, schema, site management, user voice, connected data, awards and recognition, and customer success. Plus, we might even get a sneak peek at what's in the works for next quarter. Our first topic for today is design flexibility and we're joined by our awesome product designer, Anat. Anat, thanks for the time. Thank you, Dan. Thank you for inviting me. It seems like new site templates and sections are coming out all the time and this quarter is no exception. What new templates do we have and in what situations do you think they'll work best? So the first template is the lead generation landing page. This template has one goal in mind, to enable you to build landing pages for your clients that convert. The second template is the dental clinic. Uh, this template is perfect for any website that offers a wide range of treatments, everything from dentist and plastic surgeon to sport medicine and holistic spa. The third template is online education. It's focused on web-oriented profession like coding and design, but can also be used for online education site dedicated to helping people upscale their skills while attending virtual classes. We have released 19 new sections. Um, they are inspired by our most popular templates. So those sections exist actually in other templates, but we thought it would be easier um, to collect them and to have them accessible immediately in our section panel. So um, we've changed things up a little bit, changed images, colors. We add animation on them and new capabilities to give you more design options and ideas. How cool. In addition to these new templates, I also understand there's been some changes to the way animations work within Duda sites, and I know there was a lot of excitement around this product update. Can you tell us what was added and maybe show us a quick demo of how it works? Sure, so in addition to the mobile animation, we have had entrance animation, scrolling animation, and we have an option to customize those animations. So actually we can choose entrance or scroll, we can choose what kind of animation we want, and the duration, the delay, and the intensity of animation, and preview this animation. So that looks really cool, but why are animations so important in a website? So animation actually attracts attention. Um, in addition to the fact that animation are really trendy right now, it really is engaging for a site visitor, and it draws their attention exactly where you want it to go. Uh, just be careful using animation wisely. Make sure uh, to use the animation you choose that fits your site vision and character. Don't have too much animation everywhere because it will look like uh, nothing. Uh, set the animation according to the content. If you use a scroll animation on the text, for example, make sure you have enough viewport time for user to read it, the text that has been animated. Everything in moderation including animations, of course, and try to be consistent. Don't use too many different kinds of animation in one site. Makes sense. That's really cool. Another thing that's really crucial on a website is using the right font. I was really excited to see this product update. Can you show us what's going on with custom fonts? Okay, so we have now the freedom of uploading the font of your choice. So either if it's Google font, but also custom fonts, it's the designer's dream come true, actually. Uh, the site typography has a huge impact on the site visitor and can convey the mood and the tone of a site at the first glance. A customer can receive a font from his client branding, for example, and it's really important for the website to be on the same look and feel so that the designer don't have to choose between like three font of Google and can actually upload uh, the font of his client. So that's very important. Very cool. Anat, thanks for walking us through these updates. I can't wait to try these out. Thank you, you're welcome. Next up, we're joined by Russ, who heads up our strategic integrations, and we're talking about a couple new apps that have been added to the Duda App Store. Russ, thanks for joining. Absolutely, really, really excited to, to get an opportunity to explain kind of what's going on and highlight some of these apps. 
Right off the bat, can you just remind us what the App Store is and why every Duda user should be using it? Yeah, absolutely. So Duda's App Store aims to be a central hub of high quality integrations that you can add on to any Duda site to add value or solve problems immediately for your clients. So this is looking to expand the core feature set of Duda and just give you more tools and more capabilities right at your fingertips. Man, it's amazing what you can do to a site just by adding a couple apps from the App Store. And speaking of, I understand we added a couple new apps recently. What'd we add and what can they do for our users? Yeah, absolutely. There's three I want to highlight with you that have gone live recently. So uh, there's Loxy, there's Paperform, and Site Search. So Loxy is our, our most recent one that launched. And Loxy is an event calendar system. It's really powerful, really quick to get up and running. Uh, and it, at, at the, the business plan is only $8 a month uh, just to get started. Our next one, which we launched late last year, uh, is Paperform. Paperform is actually now one of our most popular apps in the App Store, uh, and it is an advanced contact form solution. So they allow you to do things like cool calculations on top of a website, take payments, sell simple products and subscriptions right through your website, and more. And the final one is Site Search 360. And Site Search gives you a simple, uh, easy to use site search capability right on top. You simply add it to your website. Site Search is going to crawl all of the pages, understand the content, and then give your site visitors a simple search box to crawl or search for the terms and, and search for the content that they want to find on top of your website. It's a real great fit if you're using dynamic pages to build out a lot of pages on a site. Site Search is a natural counterpart uh, to that feature set within Duda. Nice. Three great additions to almost any site. I'm stoked to see what our customers create. And Russ, I've also been hearing about something new called Schema, and I understand it's used to create structured data like FAQs and local business information. Can you give us a quick rundown? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, this is due to really focusing on, on Schema, and, and we're going to continue to focus on this throughout the year. So the two capabilities that you highlighted, Dan, um, FAQ and local business are some of the most popular forms of Schema on the web. Basically, it's a language that Google and other crawlers can read and then understand the content on, of the website or the content of that page in a more machine-readable way. So with FAQ, what this allows is it allows you to say, great, here are the most commonly listed questions that I know about my business with an answer. And Google can actually pull that out and present those FAQs right in their search results. Uh, which is a powerful kind of way to enhance uh, your visibility within the search engine directly. Local business schema is a great way to also fill in Google's knowledge graph of facts and information about your business directly. So you give uh, information like where's the business located? What hours are they open? A logo about the image or the name of the business um, directly. And all of that information enriches Google search results and allows Google to return more specific results for that business. So if they know the address, they can return a local search that says coffee shops near me or accountants near me, and Google actually knows the location due to that schema markup that, that's going to be on the site directly. So these are just two powerful ways to influence search results and, and Google specifically. Ah, very cool. Russ, thanks so much for the time. Absolutely. Have a good one, guys. So far, we've talked about design flexibility in the App Store, and now we're talking about some updates related to the site overview page. Here to show us the way is product manager, Abigail, who focuses on Duda's team collaboration tools. Hey, Abigail, thanks for joining. Hey, thanks for having me. I understand there are some changes to the site overview page, but before we get to the changes, can you just explain what the site overview is and why it's important? Yeah, of course. So the site overview is your dedicated dashboard for every individual site. This provides you as an agency a place to see everything you need about a site in one place. And it also becomes the main dashboard for your clients. Cool. So now that we know what it is and why it's important, can you tell us what changed? Yeah. So we're continually adding more capabilities to the site overview, both to make your workflow more efficient and also give your clients an even better experience. Recently, we added form responses and the activity log to the site overview. 
So with form responses on the overview, you and your clients have a quicker and easier way to see and download responses to all of the forms on your site. And the activity log allows you and your team members who have the relevant for permissions to see a log of changes made to a site. You'll also be able to see who made the change, when the change was made, and all the information you need to get a better oversight into what's going on on your site. Awesome. Thanks, Abigail. I understand you also work closely with the new Duda Ideas Board. Can you tell us what that is and why it's so important to Duda? Definitely. The Idea Board allows agencies to submit feature requests, comment and vote on existing requests, and track the status of these requests. So feedback and input from our users plays a huge role in the decisions we make at Duda. So we're really excited to offer a way for our users to express their needs directly to the product team. We continuously update the status of requests there as they get prioritized and released. So I definitely recommend everyone going to check out the idea board and vote for the ideas that are important to you. It's really cool to see this come to life and I can't wait to see the awesome ideas our customers come up with. Thanks for joining us, Abigail. Of course. Next up, we're joined by another awesome product manager to talk about some updated connected data capabilities. Inbar, thanks so much for joining. Hi, Dan. Thanks for having me. Before we talk about the new capabilities, can you just tell us what connected data is? Sure. Uh, so connected data is a cool feature that lets you connect widgets on your site to data from external sources. And then you can uh, display the data on your site using the widgets. Uh, it can be used in uh, regular pages, but it's also the technology behind dynamic pages and collections. Perfect. And there are some updated connected data capabilities this quarter. Tell us what's new. Sure. So um, uh, the first update is uh, connected alt text. Uh, so alt text can be used with connected data in two ways. Uh, if you're using regular pages, you can use the business images in the content library. Um, and then you can connect, uh, sorry, you can add alt text for each image. Uh, and then when you connect, when you connect the image uh, to the image widget, you can just um, a check a checkbox and, uh, and connect the alt text as well. Uh, if you already have text there, uh, it will just connect to the widget. If you don't have text there, you can fill it in and then it will sync with the content library. Um, and in dynamic pages, uh, you can connect the image widget uh, to the collection. And then you can connect the alt text to any, uh, any field in the collection. So it can be a dedicated field or uh, a field you're using for something else, like the title, for example. Um, and another thing we're adding is a new way to uh, control what part of your collection um, uh, the widgets display. Uh, so if, for example, uh, you have a gallery widget and you connected it to a collection, today it will display the entire collection. Um, so this new capability we're adding um, uh, just allows you to control uh, exactly what you want to display. For example, if I have uh, a team collection and I want to display only UI designers, I can just type in UI designers and then uh, it will filter out everyone else from the collection. Uh, and then if I want to display UI designers and UX designers, I can just add that in and to, it will display uh, whoever I selected. That's great. Inbar, thanks so much for walking us through these updates. Our next guest is VP of Brand and Product Marketing, Chris Carfee. Chris, thanks for the time. Hey, Dan, thanks for reaching out. I understand Duda has received some pretty incredible recognition recently. Can you tell us a bit about the G2 Awards and what it means to be a recipient? So as Dan mentioned, uh, we were honored as a leader by G2 in both the web content management and the website builder categories. Uh, G2 is a site with over 1.2 million real customer reviews on it, and it's folks uh, just like our customers, just like you, who are submitting their reviews. And so it was a great honor to be recognized as um, you know, easiest to use, easiest to do business with, and an overall leader in the, in the space by them. The really interesting thing about them is they look at two different dimensions. One is on the, the product side of things and overall customer satisfaction. And then the other is on the market presence side of things. And the fact that we were ranked by our customers as the best in a number of those categories around usability, um, ease to implement. And overall, the one 
website builder and web content management system that was most likely to be recommended by everybody out of the category. Um, we took that as a, a great honor. So, so thank you for uh, your feedback and support on that. Related to that, uh, we also did find out this quarter that we did win the Gold Stevie Award for Frontline Customer Service Team of the Year in the technology industry, which is um, really a, you know, a testament to how seriously we take making sure that you are all supported in everything that you are doing. So, um, you know, anytime you need help from us, have a question, wonder how, uh, you know, Duda might be able to help, definitely please reach out to us. And so I just want to make sure that folks were aware of uh, a few of these things happening on the G2 side and on the Stevie Award side. And with that, Dan, back to you. That's huge. And I know we're incredibly proud of this achievement. Chris, thanks for joining us. Next up, we have Ronnie Landau, our head of product, with a sneak peek at what's in the works at Duda. Hi, everyone. I'm Ronnie. Uh, I'm the VP of product at Duda. I hope you liked everything you just saw uh, and you're using it in uh, your building site with it. I want to give you a sneak peek of two amazing projects that we're working on now and I'm sure you guys will love. Uh, the first one is what we call Do The Flex. Basically, Do The Flex is a new way of designing sections and pages and actually templates inside the Do The Editor. Uh, it's a new inline editing capabilities with new technology like uh, CSS Grid, Flexbox, and a lot more. Uh, you will have amazing snapping and alignment, and basically, you will be able to build everything you dreamed of and everything you want to offer your customers. You won't have any limits for the columns. You will have freestyle positioning. You will have vertical align and so much more. Uh, of course, we will share all the details once it's live and I can't wait for you to try it out. If you are interested in, in uh, joining our beta, so please uh, register to the link below and join our waiting list. Uh, we're collecting people. It will take a few weeks, but I'm sure you will love to use it. Another very, very exciting project that I know a lot of you are waiting for is membership. If you have a client that wants to have a restricted page or collect uh, leads via locked content, this is exactly what you guys need. This is an awesome conversion tool, and I'm sure you will all use it um, in one of your future sites. This is it for now. Hope you liked everything you saw. And thank you for being such an awesome dudes and dudettes and being part of the Duda community. Thank you and have a great day. And last but not least, I'm excited to tell you about some new resources available on Duda University. First, we have an all new video series called Learn From The Experts. This series is designed to help you master the Duda platform and brings you quick, concise video tips directly from experts at Duda. We also have a couple new courses to bring your skills to the next level, including team collaboration and launch your store with Duda e-commerce. Check out our new resources today on Duda University. That's a wrap for this quarter's updates, but things are changing fast. For the most up-to-date product updates, visit the Duda product blog.